Well, the puppeteer behind Elmo has quit Sesame Street over more sex allegations. We've got Angela Pruitt here from Wall Street Journal joining us now on the set. Hello. Thanks, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Um, this is a big move, right? He's been there doing this for 28 years. 28 Who are we talking years. about? 28 um, years. It's been a lot. It's so sad. In very, it's Kevin, Kevin Clash, right? It's Kevin Clash. Uh, he took a leave of absence from Sesame Street and being a voice of Elmo amid allegations that he engaged in an inappropriate affair uh, with a minor seven years ago. Mm. Those allegations were recanted, but I guess the distraction of the coverage and the fallout um, and, you know, propelled him to, re to resign from the post today. Mm. Now as he resigned, there was a new claim filed in federal court today um, that another young 24-year-old man also made similar claims that he had an affair with Clash when he was also 15 years old. Um, Clash did deny the claims from the first accuser. Um, um, and apparently we have a um, we have a statement from Sesame that we're going to put up on the sure. screen now. Unfortunately, the controversy surrounding Kevin's personal life has become a distraction that none of us wants. That's what you said. And has concluded that he can no longer be effective in his job and has resigned from Sesame Street. This is a sad day for Sesame Street. Yes. Um, this has got to damage the brand quite a bit, though. This is a brand aimed at kids. Of course, it's unclear what would be the economic and business fallout mm. from this from a retail perspective. Obviously, this guy was the face of Elmo for the past 28 years, and it does come at an inopportune time. You know, we have Black Friday this Friday, mm. and we're heading into the holiday season. I'm sure that. Um, Sesame Street has said, or Sesame Workshop, has said that the Elmo brand will continue. Mm. It's unclear who would be the long-term replacement um, as the puppeteer for Elmo, but obviously it's not good. Obviously it's not good. No. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Angela Pruitt of the Wall Street Journal.